1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. Oh, McDonald's, we're not even in the car yet! In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Get out of here, stalker! Oh, Wendy's, oh, McDonald's, will you stop at that Fazoli's? I want pasta in a bag. I'm not stopping for bagged pasta, I'm not even in the car yet. Beep, beep! Hey, stop for bagged pasta, now! I'm not fucking stopping at the Olive Garden. That's a sit-in restaurant. Oh, I ordered a head dad on my smartphone. Oh, okay! Uh-huh. Boo, 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 boo. This is the, this is your, your car, though. This car gets owned. We love it, though. I love the opening here. Boo, 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 boo. No, McDonald. Hey, what are you doing back there? Oh, shit. Can you stop backseating a little bit? Can you stop that right now? <laughs> no, McDonald's. Chill out. No, Wendy's either. No, I'm not stopping at the Popeye's for a chicken sandwich. We stop at IHOP? No stopping at IHOP. Stop it. We're not stopping at IHOP. Look at your Kindle Fire. Look at your child-proofed Kindle Fire. Enjoy that. You got a bunch of games on your child-proof Kindle Fire. Stay on there. How wet my how wet my how wet my windshield get? I want to see how wet it gets. Gotta turn it on. Sorry. Beep beep. What about Sonic? We're not stopping at Sonic. The wall. There's not even a Sonic around here. There's not a Sonic for miles. Can we stop at the Mystery Shack. This isn't Gravity Falls. That's a cartoon. Dad, Chad keeps making faces at me. Hey, stop it back there. You don't want me to pull this car around, do you? I'll drive back into the lake. You want me to drive into the ocean? I'll do it. I swear to God. I, I swear to God. I will cause problems. I will be problematic in the ocean. I will throw car batteries in there. I will find Ariel. I will find all the mermaids. I'm gonna find a bunch of those Mountain Dew uh, six-pack bottles and grab the plastic rings, and I'm gonna put them around the mermaids if you're not quiet back there. Can we have wet meat? I mean, that's what we're trying to get right now. We're on the way to wet meat. I'm getting there. We're going on. We're on the road. We're getting wet meat. We're trying to go to Billy's Crab Shack for all the wet meat. It's a big drive. I'm excited about it. We need that Washington wet meat. That WWM. They talk about it on the radio all the time. Go and get it right now. Your WWM. Dad, your driving's a little erratic. Shush. All right. Well, no road. Guess I gotta go this way. You're listening to WMM Washington Wet Meat. <laughs> Today, tune in for more wet, more meat. We're making viscous sounds over the airwaves. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> We're doing <laughs> all sorts of <laughs> stuff. <laughs> We're gonna be <laughs> pulling all that, <laughs> all that wet meat through the radio. <laughs> so much wet meat. <laughs> it's gonna make you lose your mind. <laughs> Dad, can this car go faster? I'm kind of worried about the... I'm kind of worried about the viscous red liquid everywhere. Kind of worried about having no battery in my car. Uh-oh. Wow. My children. My 40 to 80 children. They're all gone. What happened to them? What happened What happened to my 40 to 80 children? Where did they go? I gotta find them. So yeah, me when I... Then when I... I'm gonna be one of those dads who has like the little Bluetooth earpiece in and he's always talking to it and his kids are like, Hey dad, can we go outside and play? And he's like, yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And it's like, oh, sorry, son, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to my business earpiece. Sir. Yeah, buy 50 more stocks in big business. Buy 50 more stock. Buy 50, 50 more stocks in auto mufflers. We're going to need more mufflers. Somebody's dad works at an auto body shop and has one of those Bluetooth earpieces, and they're going to get sent back. Hey, Dad, do you want to play ball with me? Why would I play catch with you? We're selling mufflers. He doesn't even have a job that warrants an earpiece or a Bluetooth. He's just weird. He's just listening to Kesha, the acoustic album. Sorry, son, I, I, I gotta, I, 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 I gotta take this call. I hear your heart beat to the beat of the drum. Oh, what a shame that you came here with someone. Oh, uh, son, Kesha is speaking. Can you leave me alone a little bit? Can you chill? Uh -oh. Better here in my heart. Uh -oh. Let's make the most of the night like we're gonna die young. 
I do really, you know what's fucked up is I, I, if, if my music taste is eclectic, it's gotta be because I have the whole Kesha acoustic album and I don't like any of your, her music, but I fucking love that acoustic album. I'm a little freak. I do be bumping and jumping in the middle of the night. I do be looking for Dracula. I'm looking for a fight. And then when I find the zombie, the vampire, the fright, let's get out of here. I don't know what happened to my cool red car. I think that got exploded, but I got my station wagon. And oh boy, it's acid dragon. My acid sector E. I gotta get out of here. I don't want to be an E. I want to be in B or C or Z. Any other letter of the alphabet would be nice. Why would I start watching the stream? I got sleepy as hell. Is this a new curse variant? It's, it, you got sleepy as hell because it's the same thing that I do whenever I play a driving game for too long. Where if I'm in the front of the driving game, I have this natural road trip sleepiness that like switches over to video games a little bit, but I'm fighting it with a copious amounts of caffeine, so. Did anybody else get that? You get that road trip, you get that road trip sleepiness, it happened. What is it about road trips that make everyone sleepy anyway? I think it's just uh, the, 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 the somber experience of a road trip when you're not driving. I think road trips in general are gonna be a little eepy, a little sleepy. I always end up sleeping for like an hour on a road trip. Part of it too, I think, is your body is like, this is gonna be a long fucking drive. Why don't you just turn your brain off for like an hour or two? Do it, turn your brain off, you can. Now, if you're the driver, you can't listen to those voices. But if you're not driving, you can just listen to the voices. Oh, it's not on, it's not on, it's not on. I didn't turn the car on, I gotta go. I put it in drive, I didn't turn the car on, we gotta go. I goofed up, I fucked up, I fucked up. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. For me, it's like the vibration of the road, instant sleepy spell. Yeah, it's like peaceful, like road trips are, I mean, they can be stressful, but sometimes they're just like, man, you're gonna be driving for eight to 12 hours, like, or even like an hour or two. It's like, man, I don't wanna think about the drive. I don't wanna exist for this little bit of time. I wanna fast travel. I wanna, I wanna fast travel. That's why I get sleepy on the road. <laughs> Can't do it behind the wheel. Can't do it behind the wheel. Get up, you're asleep at the wheel. Get up, you're asleep at the wheel. Oh yeah, the bumpy road rocks me to sleep if I'm a passenger. The bumpy road always woke me up, but that's because I would go on road trips with my grandparents a lot. Um, either to Omaha or to Sioux City or like a couple hours away, one time to Colorado. My grandpa had um, sleep apnea though. So on the way back, it would be dark and he would just start falling asleep. And so you'd have to like shake him a bunch to wake him the fuck up. Uh, Cause sometimes he would just start falling asleep and then you'd have to shake him a fuck ton and then you'd hear like the vibration of the road where like they have the on the side of the road. I don't know what they're called, but they're like the, the road thanguses, you know? They're like the strips on the road that are like really, really bumpy. So we just wake him up. Uh, best thing though, is every time he come back on his way back into town where they live, Denison, Iowa, the last like half an hour of the trip, um, he would call the local radio station and they would always play the Eagles. Uh, Life's been good every single time we come into town. That song is one of the only songs in the world that'll make me cry. And it'd be like the full 12 minute version too. Look at that storm a brewing. Weather out there is crazy. You can't go out in this weather. What are you insane? That reminds me, I gotta go buy a crowbar. I got some boxes to open. I got some wooden crates to open. What about, how am I gonna open my wooden crates without a crowbar, dude? That's what I'm always saying. I got some wooden crates. I gotta open them. I gotta smash them in with my crowbar. Hey, Gordon, about that beer I owe ya. Wouldn't it be fucked up if Barney said, hey, Gordon, what about that bear I owe ya? That'd scare the shit out of me. What if a bear was just there in Black Mesa? What if a bear was just there in City 17? Half-Life, but there's just a bear there. I think, I think I'd play that. Play a mod where it's Half-Life and there's just a bear. And he's just off in the corner. He's like, like scavenging through the trash. He kills like a combine every once in a while. He has one QTE and then he just runs away. Half-Life, but there's a bear there. That's a pretty good playthrough. Bear like Freddy Fazbear. No, not like Freddy Fazbear. Like a normal bear, like a creature, not an animatronic doll bent on, on eating fucking whack pizza. Yes, Brennan, did you have any goo-related experiences recently? Attention. You know, I did eat yogurt today. That's a goo experience. I had a yogurt. I had a blueberry yogurt. I, I put, I, I, I didn't, I couldn't find a spoon though, so I just grabbed it with my hands and stuffed it into my face. This is not true. I had a spoon. But I like to live dangerously. I like to imagine. What if I did live dangerously? What if I did live like that? But are we, are we there at Disneyland yet? We're not there yet. We haven't gotten there yet. I'm trying. Not only am I trying to get us to Disneyland, I'm also trying to get us to live vicariously and dangerously through my car. How big was the spoon? It was a normal size spoon. What do you think I used a freak spoon? Yeah, sorry, I got it from, um, I got it from Barnes & Noble. It's a Doctor Who 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver Spoon. That was just a plastic spoon. 
wasn't even a cool spoon. It was just a plastic spoon. But have you ever considered streaming Crosswords DS? It's a pretty good game. You want me to play crossword puzzles on stream? Brendan, please, God, for the love of fuck, play crossword puzzles on stream, Brendan. I'm begging you. I need to know how lacking you are in your knowledge, Brendan. Brendan, please, I'm begging you. I need to know you're dumber than me, Brendan. Listen, just because my vernacular and my vocabulary be mighty verbose don't mean that I'm not stupid. Dumb people can say smart words all the time. Brendan, please play Sudoku. I'm begging you. Oh, I gotta play, I gotta play, I gotta play, uh, I gotta play Mancala. Brendan, win Mancala stream. Brendan, win Mancala. We're waiting, Brendan. The chat is screaming. They're thundering and hungering for it, Brendan. Hey, buster. You're trying to suck my car into your big fucking vortex? Uh-uh-uh, if I can escape Sandy Cheeks, I can escape you! Gorilla Radio, where are you? <laughs> Love Gorilla Radio. Love the idea of Gorilla Radio. Like, either way, too, honestly. Radio with only gorillas, but also radio where, like, it's a secret radio that pops up anywhere. Playing harsh noise to you. Right, and I want to order oh, pizza tonight. What should I order from? Who should I order from? Get a local place. Um, if you live in a bigger city, you can usually find a really good local place. Uh, what I do for big cities that I visit, what I'll do is I'll go to Reddit and I'll Google um, best food in city. And then I'll go through those recommendations and I'll find like the, the middle of the road ones. And those oftentimes are like the best ones. Little travel hack for you. Uh, because oftentimes the highest ones are overrated and the underrated ones are hit or miss. But if you pick the ones that are right in the middle with, like, the right amount of upvotes on Loretta.com, uh, you can get some really good places. Local pizza fucks, and you're supporting a small business. I don't know, try a new pizza place. Look up a local place and see if it's any good. Try a new thing. You know, experience new food. That's one of my favorite parts of, like, travel. And especially if you live in a larger place, you gotta get a big pizza. I'm so sad my local pizza joint is, is like, dog shit now. The only good thing go th that they have going for them is they used to have a really... Oops. They used to have an amazing spicy marinara, like a spicy pizza sauce. And that's, they still have it, but everything else they sell is crap. We ordered cheesy bread before they got bought out. Fucking banging. We ordered it after they got bought out and it was Walmart garlic bread with extra cheese on top. I've never been more fucking disappointed than getting the Walmart garlic bread with the cheese on top. Cheesy garlic bread is so fucking good. Yeah, but it's like the Walmart cheesy garlic bread. I love normal cheesy garlic. Normal cheesy garlic bread is far better than the Walmart variety. Not saying that the Walmart variety is like necessarily bad. It's just like when you went there, their cheesy garlic bread was so ooey and so gooey. And it was like fucking perfect. It was the perfect amount of cheese and garlic and bread. And it was the sticks. And then they just cut up a loaf of uh, fucking Walmart garlic bread. And they just put that shit in there. You expect more than Walmart frozen in a box. True. I'm like, I'm disappointed because like if I had that at home, I'd be like banging. Like, not at a fancy, not at a fucking cool pizza place. I hear bad noises now. I don't know if I did a bad thing. But God is displeased. I can kind of hear that a little bit in the air. I, I get in the feeling that God is not happy with me taking his orb. You took it? I mean, I, I guess. Was I supposed to not take it? It was a free orb. I mean, it was a free orb. What was I supposed to do? Am I supposed to not take the free orb? Oh, it tampers with the zone. Hands only? Oh, no, I should go and put that back. Yeah, I'm gonna go and put that back. Can I put it back? I'm sorry that I took your orb. I didn't mean to. I didn't know your game, but I'm aware of it now. I saw the rocks moving. I'm putting the orb back. Yeah, I know the radio station is somewhere. I didn't mean to take the orb. I, I wasn't aware of your game. I fucked up. I fucked up. I fucked up. I didn't mean to take the orb. You'd have it back. You'd, ha you'd have it back. Warning hands only. I don't know what to do with the orb. I think I gotta just leave, don't I? I gotta get out of here. I didn't mean, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. You should just leave it and run. No, no, I'm going to bring it with me. But I am going to run. Can I go back? Can I go back to where I was? Can I go back? I'm taking the orb with me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Can I took it out, but I can't even take it. Hands only. You can have it. I didn't mean to take the orb. I'm sorry. Hello, scary guys. I wasn't aware of the orb. I'm sorry. That's my bad. That's my bad that I wasn't aware of the orb. That's my bad, actually. I, uh, I got rid of it now. Are you happy? Are you pleased? Are the gods pleased with me? I got rid of the orb. Are you happy? I think they're happy now. I think I think we're good. I think everything is nominal. Situation fine. I'm healthy and everything. I'm the uh, the picture of health, actually. Local streamer Bren Daniel has disgruntled the orb. Tune in at nine. I mean, hey, when push comes to shove, I'm probably gonna fuck with the orb. I'm sorry. I I uh, apologies to all wizards and witches and all crystal ball enthusiasts. Fucked of me. 
to fuck with the orb, but I had to do it. Kind of fucked up of me to mess around with the orb and like, uh, I, I found out. I hear the noises. I, I found out. You should just take it. The orb? I can't. I won't let me put it in my fucking car. I don't think I'm supposed to be fucking around with the orb at this point. They just put it in front of me like a little tease. They were like, oh, we put an orb in front of the player specifically to fuck with them. It's the perfect fuck around and find out method in our videos game. They fucked around with it. Now they found out. You know what? I am somebody who definitely found out. Hey, Brandon, check out this irresistible golden totem. And it's like, I'm not going to touch it again. No way. No way. I'm not falling for this shit again. I touched the orb and I fucked around and I found out, but I'm not touching the irresistible golden totem. I'm not breaking five generations of curse on my family. Come on, Brendan. Touch the totem, Brendan. Gain the power and knowledge of 15 different wizards, Brendan. Oh, but then my family's fucking cursed, right? No. No. No way, dude. No. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. A lot of people get all the way through this without- all the, A lot of people get all the way to the lake without having started their car. Just joshing with you. It's just lake humor. Crazy how your cats are more relatable than you. I, <laughs> how fucking rude! It's not wrong. I have anxiety. I have allergies and anxiety. I have both of those things. Motherfucker be like, ah, oh, Brendan, you are not relatable. You are an elderly creature. We watch you like, a, like at a zoo. I'm like, I'm a human with blood in my body. I went on a walk today. It was very nice. It was cold. The wind hurt my face. How relatable is that? How relatable am I? Yeah, but you have soft little hands? Not really. Medium softness. You have so I have like medium softness, big hands. I have really soft skin, actually. Uh, my wife is really, really jealous because my skin is very soft. I cannot find myself empathizing with such a wicked little demon. Oh my god. You're an unrelatable streamer. You are an unrelatable streamer. Until you have, uh, until you have a way with words like me and my friends, Brendan, you shall not be relatable, Brendan. There is no world in which you are relatable, Brendan, so don't even try, buster. I want to hear about your cats. I want to hear about your wife. But you, buddy, you, you're a problem. You're the part of the equation that doesn't fit, Brendan. I can't socket you in anywhere in my little think machine. Uh, why won't you fit anywhere in my little think machine, Brendan? Where will I put you, Brendan? I don't know. 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 Where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? So sorry, Brendan. My little think machine it just isn't sparking correctly whenever you speak words no more. You just don't fit, Brendan. There's not a place for this for this man for you in this world anymore, Brendan. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I looked at a picture of Wario yesterday, and I was like, "Wow, cool guy." Is that relatable enough for you? Am I coming back on it now? Am I am I drawing you back in? Am I am I lassoing you back into my wild west of truth? Can you help me with my logarithm homework? I don't know shit about math. You asked me a geometry question, logarithm, logarithm? You think I know how to use cosine on the fucking calculator? How do I whistle you back into my whimsical world? Did you lick the Wario picture? No, I'm not gonna fucking do that. I'm not a freak. Yeah, logarithm, ain't that on the DS? You have to give your skin to Shelby for her to wear and then we'll accept you as relatable. Oh, when I'm the skinless creeping horror? When I'm the massive flesh? All he does is scream and shout and let it all out? So like me, so like me, so like me. There better not be some freak creature out there. Swear to God, if Bigfoot's out here, you think you're sassy, Sasquatch? You just wait until you find me, bitch. And then I gotta pee. I'm trying to stop yelling. I'm trying. Look at what you made me do. Look at where you made me park. Look at what you did. Look at what you did to the tire. Look at what you did to the tire. You did that. You made the tire vibrate. I don't want to get scrambled. I'm going. I'm moving. I'm driving. Oh shit. Oh, this is where it gets really tricky, ain't it? Oh fuck. Go to that glowing death pillar in the sky. Awesome. Awesome. I hear demons. I hear devils. I hear demons. I hear devils. Go to the big sky pillar. We're heading in. We're heading in. We're heading in. Oh, shit. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Put those glow in the dark stars on there, babe. Hell yeah. What about a truck butt? What about a truck butt? What about truck breasts? What about truck anatomy, Brendan? How much truck anatomy will you put in your car, Brendan? Truck hands, truck feet, truck legs, truck meat. What a, what about it, Brendan? How much truck meat can you put on one car, Brendan? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Have you considered headlight lashes like Herbie? You just want me to make, you just want me to make fucking Herbie, don't you? You just want Herbie. All you fucking want is Herbie. Brendan Herbie, Brendan Herbie now, Brendan Herbie, Brendan give Herbie. I love this game filled with fucked weather and warehouse 13 objects. See, this is, uh, I'm glad I got into Stalker before playing this because uh, it really, it, it really is kind of like Stalker car. 
but for the rat players. Because in Stalker, sometimes you gotta make choices about what you carry, what you keep. Um, this is a very pack rat core video game, which I've been in the mood to play because of Stalker. So I like putting a bunch of shit. I like I like filling my my trunk with junk, and I love having a good time. What is that? Sizzling mist. Ooh, that's what they put on the Burger King burger. That's what they put on the Whopper. You have to put that sizzling mist on the Whopper, otherwise they're gonna get whopped. I always forget why people make the like the McDonald's Sprite jokes, and then I have it, and I'm like, you know, I remember. Because I don't know, McDonald's Sprite never like fucking. I, I still don't know. Is McDonald's Sprite extra bad? Or do, it, it just tastes like television static, right? Is it bad though? Like, is it good? I don't know. What's up with it? It hits, it crisp. It's like TV static. I don't, like all I've heard is like, it's crisp, it hits. And I'm like, it's just Sprite, I guess. I mean, I guess. It's like the wasabi of sodas, it invades your sinuses. I, I don't, I don't think I can really discern the difference in the taste between canned, bottled and, and, and um, fountain. Sprite. I'm not a, I'm not a McDonald's warrior. I'm sorry. Shout out to all the Mickey D warriors out there, but I'm not I'm not a part of your I'm not a part of your religion. I apologize. It's fine. It's fine. McDonald's Sprite is fine. It tastes like Sprite. But then again, I'm gonna think this until I have a McDonald's Sprite. And then I'm gonna be like, okay, okay, this is like television static. This shit hits. Mods rend this man asunder. McDonald's blows. I mean, we talk about it all the time, but McDonald's is like fine. It's fine. It's McDonald's. You know what you're getting at McDonald's. Uh, yeah, it's no longer worth the price. Absolutely. I mean, all fast food is that way. Or like, you can go to a local place that makes a way better burger for the same price as a McDonald's meal. Think somebody in the Cars universe ever got canceled for being a tire lover? Bought you a new pair of um. Ooh, bought you a new pair of uh. Bought you a new pair of Goodwills. You uh, wanna send me pics of them? The Cars universe should be more like our world. It'd be funnier that way. The Cars universe should be more like our world. There should also, all, also be a bunch of freaks. I mean, if there is a car pope, that means that there is car religion. That means that there is car freaks. Because there is car morality. Send a pic of bare rims, babe. Please, 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 please. Can you send me a picture of, of your bare rims? Please, please. Can you send me exhaust port picture? Please send me muffler pics now. Send me muffler pics now. Right in the Cars universe has no twin towers in New York. The implications are worrying. I sent you alternator pics. Please respond. I invited this bitch over and I woke up in a bathtub with my catalytic converter ripped out. What the fuck, dude? Nah, that's just an urban legend, man. That's just an urban legend. Hey, nobody dated somebody, went on a date with somebody, had casual sex, and then lost their catalytic converter. Oh, I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. I swear it happened, dude. I swear it happened. It happened to my friend. It happened to a friend of mine. I swear, dude, it happened to a friend of mine. He got his catalytic converter ripped out and then he woke up in a bathtub with ice. We love plasma. Oh, yes, we do. We love you, plasma. Oh, yes, it's true. Give me that plasma and goo. Oh, plasma, we love you. Love the plasma pistol in Halo when you pop an elite with it and this whole shield is down with your little wimpy pistol and he's like, argh, argh. Oh God, I fucked up, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh my God, whatever that is, I'm dead. There's no way the car can output this much. We're totally dead. We have fucked up. I can't, I can't get up here. I'm fucked, there's not enough, there's not enough time. I'm fucked, dude. I'm fucked, I'm goofed, I'm done. Fortnite storm coming. Oh my God, why does the fucking gateway have to be uphill? Why does the gateway have to be uphill? Why do we have to, oh my God, the red is coming. The red is coming, the red wall is coming. Oh my God! We're just, we are just dead. We are going to die of funny radiation. The car isn't fast enough. It's too slow. I didn't know, I didn't know. I'm way too far away. I'm way too far, I'm way too far away, babe. Ooh, I'm way too far away. There's no way. Yeah, we are dying. Use your funny med pack. Try to outheal it. There's no fucking way. The demons are coming. Refueling the car. Oh no, I have I my hubris. The car is fucked. I am fucked. We are dead to storm. Your DNA is getting scrambled. Yeah, I'm slowly becoming egg. Well, this is what I get. I get um hubris. I'm dead. Yeah, no way. I should have just tried to take the road in the first place. There's no way I make it through this. I'm dead. I'm done. I am absolutely obliterated. Goodbye to the world. Tell my wife I said hello. It's fine though, it's fine. We we love to die. We love to give up. We love to fall. It's a learning experience. It's fine. It's a learning experience. We fucked up. We fucked around and we found out. Did I keep anything? I kept some of the, I kept the food, none of the materials. It's fine. We can fix the car. The car loves you. Thank you, dumpster. 
What is it? What is it pop? What is it doing? Did I break it? What did it do? Why does it? Oh my god! What did? What did it do? Oh, repair putty. Why did it give me so many doors? Why does this dumpster love me? I needed doors. Thank you, dumpster. It's made with love. We love it when the dumpster makes it, and it's made with love. Love. That's a lot, though. That's a. I'm not gonna lie. That's a lot of doors, dumpster. I don't. I don't think I need all of these doors, but it is. It is a. A lot of doors. Did I lose a headlight? Or did it give me a new good headlight? Oh yeah, I lost my headlights. Oh, my headlights are fucking gone. There's really a road? Oh my god, what is that orb? Oh my god. Nope, stay away. Fucking bouncy ball orb. Fuck off, dude. No way, Buster. I hope he is not following me. Why that orb so fucking bouncy -ler? I just gotta go and get my stuff. I just gotta go and get my stuff. Windshield wipers on. I just gotta go and get my stuff. Listen, man, I'm all out of door. I'm all out of ore. I just gotta go up and get my stuff. If I can get some of the stuff that I dropped earlier, there was a lot of metal in there. There was a lot of stuff in there. There was a lot of plasma. You know, a lot of people at that hospital need that plasma. What are they going to do without it? They're not going to be able to inject it straight into their veins to grow stronger. I've seen cars like this in my grandfather's yard. When I was a kid, I uh, lived on the farm. You know, I've talked about the farm a while uh, and a lot. I've, I've mentioned the farm. But a uh, big thing about the farm was my dad was super into cars. Uh, to the point where, like, I hate cars because of my father. But, like, he used to have a billion fucking ripped apart husk like destroyed cars everywhere just a little bit of a shortcut just a shortcut we're just taking a shortcut this is just a shortcut this is just a shortcut just a shortcut so he had a billion fucking cars everywhere all over the place uh half repaired half broken apart yeah old cars collect on farm sites i mean there used to be that one american pickers show where everybody was like obsessed with going out to these old barns and like finding fucking cool. What the fuck was that? Is the storm coming now? No, that's just a regular fucked up storm. Okay. Can opener. Okay. B has a careen off a cliff. Don't worry. This is a shortcut. You're not, you're not a local, so you wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's how it is. That's how it is sometimes. You're fucking around, going around town and it's like, hey, dude, if you jump 15 feet down to this bottomless pit, um, it actually gets us to the Burger King faster. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm not a local, so I wouldn't get it. I hate this dirt road. Motherfuckers be like, come out to the country. Come out and visit me. And then they live on the worst fucking dirt road you've ever seen in your fucking life. Can't even tell this shit is a road. I don't even think I'm on a road. I don't think I am. I don't think I'm on a road. I think I'm in the fucking, I'm in the fucking forest again, aren't I? God damn it. And yeah, nobody's looked at this road in 12 years. Google cars get absolutely fucking scuffed. This is hell for a Google car. A Google car will never drive on this road. You will never be able to see your friend's house on Google Maps if they live out in the country. We got that satellite internet out there. Hooey, that son of a bitch gets some great internet. We get a we get a whole kilobyte. It's right there. It's right there. Go, 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 go. It's not that steep. Go, 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 go. It's not that steep. It's not that bad. Come on. This is a station wagon, Brendan. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Into the into the pit. Into the pit. Into the light. Into the great light. Into the great light we go. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh my god, what is this? I don't know how to diagnose this. I'm sorry. You can't tell me car thing and then expect me to understand the car thing. I don't I don't get car thing. It's like, hey, there's something wrong with the car. The car is uh the car doesn't the car's not happy with you, Buster. I'm like, I don't it's a car. I don't handles doors are all fucked up, dude. I gotta fucking I gotta fix this shit. Oh boy, the car has a soul, Brendan. Feed the soul of that car. I'm trying so hard to feed the soul of the car. You have no idea. This is a game where the Stephen King car goes on a road trip. We're kind of going on a fucked up road trip trying to collect cool things. Brendan, you were in Planet of the Apes? No, I wasn't in Planet of the Apes. I was... Uh, uh, all I know about Planet of the Apes, they got that Dr. Zayas guy, right? But no, that wasn't me. I wasn't in Planet of the Apes. Why would you say that? Like, what is that even... What is it... What, what do you mean? Brendan, you were in Planet of the Apes, right? No? Well, weren't you the ape that went... <laughs> no! Which one? You were Michael Clark Duncan's personal butler? What is with the Planet of the Apes posting, huh? What is up with that? You got slime on the mind? You thinking about monkey? You thinking about ape? Oh, sorry, Brendan. I have slime on the mind. I'm thinking about ape. He was absolutely... A... Yeah, it was Dr. Zayas. The Simpsons made that banging song about me. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Dr. Zayas. That was me, dude. I'm sorry. I love charge the battery. I love... You ever lick a D-cell battery? Not even a D-cell battery. A, uh, what do they call it? A 9-volt battery? And it, like, ouchy on your tongue? No, just me? Only me out here licking 9-volt batteries? What the fuck? Nobody else? I did that a couple of times as a kid. Yeah, this generation will never understand it, though. 
They got that Nintendo Switch cartridge to lick. Mm, I get it. I get it. I, <laughs> you'll never understand the joy of licking a 9-volt battery. You'll never live through it the way that I live through it, bitch. Right, a big Dan's gonna come back and he's gonna be pissed off he took all his stuff. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. How's he ever gonna know? You gonna tell him? You gonna narc on me, huh? You gonna narc on me to Big Dan, huh? Are you? You're not. You're you're just as afraid of Big Dan as I am. I brought up the 9-volt battery thing to my girlfriend last week and she, she thought it was weird. No, everybody did that shit. I don't think that's weird. I think it's just a normal weird kid thing. Now, to be fair, it's more likely if you're like a weird kid, I'm not gonna lie. It definitely is a quote-unquote like weird kid thing. I mean, at the end of the day, who's not a weird kid, right? If there, if there is a child out there who grows up perfectly normal without doing a single weird thing, I am concerned for them. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be really weird with it when you're a kid. That's the time to do it. Those are your weird hours, your real weird years. I told her it was a weird kid thing, but she didn't think so. It was totally a weird kid thing. She's wrong, so. You can take comfort in the fact knowing that you were right because I validated you. I am making rocket cola. I'm making you feel valid about it. It definitely was a weird kid thing. It wasn't just a, a nothing thing. Either your friend tricked you into doing it, or you did it, and if you didn't do it, that's fine. Like, it's not like you missed out on anything by not licking the 9-volt battery. You don't gotta go do it now, right? Like, oh man, I was talking to my streamer, and he said, I'm really gonna miss out if I don't lick a 9-volt battery. You don't gotta be shocking Samuel out here. But, I think it's an experience that a lot of people have had. Kids are naturally curious, and, uh, like, one kid thing to, like, figure stuff out is, can I put this in my mouth? When will your weird hours end? I don't know. I'm assuming that um, it's a hit in the head mechanic, right? You know when, um, like in a cartoon when a character gets hit in the head and they're acting kind of weird or strange? I think I got hit in the head too much as a kid, so now I just gotta wait for um, the, the get hit in the head again. And then, when I get hit in the head again, maybe I'll be normal? I don't know. Not enough blunt force trauma is what I'm assuming, so. Uh, when you see me at a convention, hit me with millions of hammers. That'll inevitably fix me. Brendan is a really big nail. I mean, if you want to think about me that way, if you want to think of me as like a really big nail that you have to like hit down to make me normal, I mean, hey, kudos to you, I guess. You figured it out. You figured out the full secret. I'm just a really big nail. I was never a man. I never had blood in my body. I'm just a really big iron spike that propped out of the ground. They decided, you know, I should give live streaming a hand. I should give that a try. I love being a really big nail. Somebody should pound me in just as a little treat. Don't look back. Don't look back. Don't look back. I sh what the hell? Oh, God. Don't look back. Watch out for the fucking rocks. Don't look back, Brendan. Don't look back. Don't do it. Don't look back. Watch out for the orb. Don't look back. Keep on going, Brendan. Don't look at the orb. Don't look at the rocks. Don't look directly at the orb, Brendan. We're good. We're good. We're going to be good. We're going to be nominal. We're going to be normal. 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 We're going to be fine. We're going to be normal. We're going. We're going, bitch. We're going. Maybe I should have gotten a little bit closer before we activated this son of a bitch, but we're getting out of here. We're going to the big pillar of light in the fucking sky. Let's fucking go, dude. Yes, no, maybe. This is not, this is an intimidated. I am intimidated. We are getting in there. Into the glowing light. Okay. Kind of getting a good idea of this. No Bigfoot, only Bigfoot. No whammies, only whammies. Pizza. Oh, it's a, it's a slice of, oh, 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 oh. I need a big pizza. Oh. Whenever I'm driving, oh, I need a big pizza. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a big pizza for my car. Oh. This is the worst thing that could have possibly happened to me. Oh, my car needs a little pizza. Oh, just a little. Oh. I try not to make the jokes, and then they still happen. Hot and fresh, big pizza. Oh. I will never escape big pizza. I will never escape it. It's going to be just a, 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 a meme that will continue to live on through me. It's horrible. I mean, every day I'm just... Oh, oh, oh. I haven't had a pizza in three weeks, too. It's fucked up. I can't even eat pizza right now on my diet. You did it. You figured it out, you intelligent man. You wonderful man. I love you. <laughs> I need more positive vibes in the chat. Thank you. You know, be, being positive like that really does help out my mental state whenever chat's like, Brendan, you're amazing. You're smart. You're a genius. I love you. Welcome to Big Pizza. I love you. Oh, Big Pizza is eternal. Note that he, that, note that he didn't say he'd stop doing it, just that it would get old. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna stop doing it. I mean, uh, with, with streamer jokes and stuff, inevi inevitably they're gonna get old, right? Like, inevitably they're gonna get old, they're gonna die, they're gonna fall away. So you gotta enjoy them when you can and while you can. Not too much, not too little, just a little bit. Here and there and everywhere. Otherwise, like, if you, if you go too hard into the paint, inevitably you're gonna burn yourself out on the streamer joke. 
If the streamer's gonna have to come up with a new elaborate bit, and like every once in a while, I mean, elaborate bits or, or, or bits like that are like a perfect storm. They don't happen too often. Just like a, a storm in the zone, so too is it fleeting. It, it will not be remembered. They will not etch Big Pizza on uranium. To be fair, they did send Big Pizza in a bottle to Europa, so technically Big Pizza will outlast you, me, and everybody in the chat, uh, because it is going to a different planet. But uh, not all jokes get to go to a whole different planet, right? Only Big Pizza, that's the only one. Or they become a staple bit of the community. I mean, they, it could die or it could live on forever just here. How many jokes are even in space to begin with? See, that's what I'm saying. My joke is in space. My joke's going to space. Your joke? I don't know about your joke, but my joke's going to space. I mean, it's not really my joke, but it's uh, a joke I've abducted from a friend that it was also abducted from me. This is a... Uh, Big Pizza is the most stealable bit, I think. How did Big Pizza end up on Europa again? A chat member just sent it there. President Cock, President Cock, tell me about your new plan. Everybody gets a butler. Everybody. You get a butler, we get a butler. Sir, sir, where are you getting these butlers from? Don't worry about it. Sir, you gotta tell me. Where are these butlers coming from? Don't worry about it. I found a way. A way to give everybody infinite butler. Everybody gets a butler. Everybody gets bottled. Sir, sir, could you please tell us? Where do the butlers come from? You don't gotta worry about that. Everybody gets a butler. You vote for me and you get a personal assistant. You get a free butler. Sir, but please, we gotta know. There's no such thing as an infinite butler. Not everybody can have one. You gotta take it from me, dude. You can get infinite butler if you vote for me, dude. Take it from me. I guess I'm voting for you, dude. I get infinite butler if I vote for you. Yeah, just vote for me, dude. Infinite butler. Come on. You want a guy to just bottle, bottle around with you? I, mean, I never said it would be a human butler, but you can get a little butler with you. you can bottle around everywhere. Don't you, don't you want to just bottle around with all your friends? All your friends have butler. You can have butler. Sir, is it a robot butler? Oh, it's a real human man. Everybody gets him. Everybody gets to share him, too. So it's one guy. Yeah, but he can go everywhere. The crazy thing about my butler strategy is that um, everybody gets him yeah. and everybody can have him. He yeah. exists simultaneously at all things. Yeah. So are you talking about an infinite butler? Yeah, I'm talking about a, a, a non-finite butler, a butler resource that'll never, that'll never, that'll never be gone. Just a, just an infinite amount, just an infinite amount of bottling. Just, uh, just bottling here, bottling there, bottling everywhere. Sir, what does a butler do? Just gonna pour tea for you. Um, he can make you a sandwich. Um, he loves hanging out and having a good time. Um, you can go to parties with him. Everybody can talk about butlers, right? You can make them fight. You can make the butlers fight. You can make the butlers fight if you want. I don't know. Fuck, dude. Vote for me, President of the United States of America. Sir, what if the Infinite Butler retires? No, he doesn't retire. He works on uh, folding matter on the immaterial plane, so... You don't have to pay him or anything, either. He just chills. Give him a little piece of cheese. He loves it. Gravel Road, Brendan. Storm's a-brewing, Brendan. Brendan, Brendan, get out of the storm, Brendan. Brendan, you're gonna lose all your fucking chug splash, Brendan. You want that victory royale? All right, we're good, though. We're good, though. The pillar is right there. The pillar is right there. We're good. The pillar is right there. The pillar is right there. The pillar is right there. I see the light. I see the light. I can I can see directly into God's brain. It is mission for me. Oh fuck! We can do a fucking sick jump in it. Hey! Them Duke boys riding again. Oh shit! Racism ho? Nope. How do I flip? Oh god! Nope. Where's it warping it? Where's it warping it? Where did it warp it? Where did it warp it? Oh no! Get in the car. Get in the car. You can't get in the car. I got in the car. We lose the door? It's fine. It's fine. Go. This is the worst place ever. I shouldn't have Dukes a hazarded. I shouldn't have Dukes a hazarded. We're fine. We're fine. I shouldn't have Dukes a hazarded. We're fine. I shouldn't have Dukes a hazarded. That's my bad. I flipped the son of a bitch. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're normal. We're nominal. We're fine. We lost a door. We'll get it. Them Duke boys were at it again, and them Duke boys, um, they blew up the fucking car. You're Midwestern, not full count country boy, man. Yeah, I'm Midwestern. I'm not like, well... I'm not Southern. I'm Midwestern. There's a difference. Um, anybody out in the country knows that people who act all Southern because they're from the country, they're morons. Just because you live on a farm in Iowa doesn't make you a fucking Southern boy. You are an Iowa boy. You stupid. Whenever I used to go to, you know, small towns, I lived in a big Iowa city, and I, there would be motherfuckers who would literally come in the next day to school, fake southern accenting, because they were like, Yeah, well, I finally realized my true calling. And it's like, you're fucking from the country, Buster. So am I. I don't talk like that. You're, f you're fake as hell with it, Buster. Don't be fake with it. Be Iowa and be proud of it. You know, it sucks in Iowa, but like, don't be, don't be fucking afraid of it.
All I know about is Iowa is potatoes and highways. That's Idaho. It's not even Iowa. That's Idaho. Idaho is potatoes. There's no reason why they should fake it. Dude, I... There was this guy in high school, and I think about him often, because he would come into class, and he was like, you know, love Slipknot, love, love metal, I love rock, fucking epic. He was gone for a week, and then he came back, and he was wearing a cowboy hat and a big belt buckle, right? And he hated metal, loved country, would only talk in a southern accent. And then he joined the Marines, got dishonorably discharged. And the last time I saw him, he was, uh, it was in college. He, he was hanging out with my roommate James because they were friends from childhood. And he was showing James pictures of birds he killed on his phone. And that might have been the last time James talked to him too. Like, he got, I don't know what the fuck happened, but he went into like the percolate machine and came out not right. He got replaced with a pod person. What did he get discharged? I have no idea. All I know is he got dishonorably discharged. That's it. So country. It's like, dude, you are from Iowa. You got rabies. Definitely, definitely rabies. Was rabid. It could happen to you. It could happen to anybody. It can happen to you. That's the thing. It's like people can disappear for a week and come back, come, come back completely different. I don't know how either. Like people go somewhere. They come back. They're different. They're not right. I've, it's wild to me that somebody can be like, yeah, I mean, I'm just going to change everything about the fabric of my very being, right? I'm going to change everything about the, the fabric of my mortal being. Just over a weekend or something, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about changing the fabric of my mortal being just over a weekend, yeah. Just, just thought it'd be fun. I 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 thought it'd be fun. One week of watching Brad Daniel does some fucked up things to a guy. I mean, hey. It definitely puts a it definitely puts a hold it, it definitely makes it so that if you met a healthcare worker they'd say, Have you heard of trepanning? What? Have you heard of getting a hole in your head? Have you thought about a lobotomy, baby? There's all this there's all this horrible there's there's this horrible slime in your head. Um we're gonna have to drain it out. It's like the people who got an accent from going to England, dude, I Oh my god, there was a girl in college that I've talked about before, I think. And she she was nice, she had a crush on me. Um and she had a car, so I was nice to her because I didn't have a car. <laughs> Which is horrible, by the way. Like, I was nice because she would give me a ride home. Um, but I was not interested in her. And I had a long-term or a long-distance girlfriend at the time. But she had a car, and she was friendly and nice. So I was like, okay, we can be friends. She wanted to be more than friends. I didn't. Yada, 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 whatever. Um, she got in with, like, the crowd of the boothies at my college, which are these people who are, like, slimy, disgusting gamers, like, the worst of the worst, like, the the guys who go into the GameStop and say, I know more than you, GameStop employee. Like, just the, the crust of this earth. People would look at cartoon pornography on their tablet in public, right? People who would unironically ask, can we watch Boku no Pico in Anime Club? Like, the slimiest of the slime, right? And she became friends with them, and then got scabies from one of them. And then she was gone for, like, two weeks. She came back. She's wearing fake glasses and talking with a British accent. She was like, like, literally, I... And then when I, like, literally, I was going to the McDonald's. And, like, literally, I was losing my mind at the McDonald's. And then all of her clothing, her entire clothing, every bit of her clothing, all was Union Jack clothing. She was wearing like a Union Jack shirt, and like a Union Jack cheapo, like Amazon leather jacket. It was insane. The insanity of this. I could, you could, you could not fathom the insanity of this. And I stopped talking to her because she also would lie all the time about like, okay, she had this weird lie. Where she would fucking, she was a, like, just, she would lie about everything, right? Like a total, total fibber, right? Which uh, I, 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 I like activated a brain cell and I remembered this lie that she would always tell me. Is that her dad has a labyrinth of video games under his house. I.e. his basement is a giant warehouse that he got the government to build bigger so he could put arcade games and video games in there. The government did it for him so he could collect more video games. Sorry, I'm uncovering new traumas. I forgot about the labyrinth of, of video games that she would talk about. How old was this woman? Um, I was 19. She was 18. She would talk about the video game labyrinth like it was a real thing. And then she'd be like, do you want to see a picture? And she'd show a picture and it'd just be a stock footage. It would literally... Okay. You don't understand? It would just be a picture of a cover art of a video game. It's like, yeah, that's in the labyrinth. 
It was like a lie a toddler would tell. I unearthed, I, I, I tell you these memories. There are so many whack people I interacted with in college that I legitimately, it gets unearthed, right? It's like, it's like, it's like archeology. span It's like brain archeology span is if I go on a tangent and I remember, it, I, it's the worst. It's like some part of my brain is, it's locked away. It's just, it's locked away. And I don't think about it until I think about it. You know, a lot of weird people, man, you're like a magnet. Why do you think I stay in my home? Why do you think I stay in my home? Because if I go out and interact with people, weird things happen. If I ever meet Conan O'Brien, I will say to him, I know a guy as tall as you, and then show him your entire YouTube channel. Don't meet Conan O'Brien and be like, Yeah, hey, I gotta plug my favorite content creator to you, Conan. Conan's like, I'm trying to eat this barbecue beef brisket. Can you not? I'm trying to enjoy my fucking day, all right? As a talk show host, I'm eating this barbecue brief bi bar bar barbecue briefs biscuit. I'm trying to have a good fucking time. Don't tell me about this guy you like. Hey, Conan, you gotta hear about this guy that I like. He's a fucking funny dude. He's funny as hell. He's... He makes a he makes a little jocular joke. It's it's crazy, dude.